so I'm going to start with Descartes. How do I know that other minds exist? I know I have a mind. That's the cogito moment. But if I look at you, all I see is your behavior. How do I know you aren't all zombies? Take, for example, this piece of wax. It is quite fresh, having been but recently taken from the beehive. It is hard, cold, easily handled. But while I am speaking, let it be placed near the fire. It becomes liquid, it grows hot, it can hardly be handled. Does the same wax still remain after this change? to show that cultural diversity can be an instrument for discovering new truth about ourselves. So I would like not to accept as true something that has not been already redefined as a determinate variant of that which could be accepted as true but different. Officers and men, we're nearing France. We sail in hostile waters towards a hostile shore. The French are bold enemies and bad masters. They want all the world to be slaves. They have enslaved their neighbors and killed their king. But we'll fight. We'll fight and destroy the French. But because the question was posed in the context of a particular encounter between two philosophers. Yeah, but, yeah, but there's and, now and, more and, than those and two to, philosophers. And to abstract that is to ask a different question. But you well, are, no. not necessarily, just, just to clarify this point, I mean, either Philosophers are simply playing with words, and, and, therefore, and, and, and therefore they have no impact on the world, or they have an impact on the world. Choose. Oui, vous parlez depuis un petit moment là, mais qu'est-ce qui me prouve en fait que vous existez réellement? Ah ouais, d'accord. Parce qu'attendez, imaginez que là je sois en train de dormir et de rêver, et que vous vous ne soyez qu'une production de mon imaginaire. Je vous assurez qu'à vous voir, on en a quand même fortement l'impression. Hein. Or, je suis désolé, mais si je ne suis plus là, rien ne me prouve que vous continuez d'exister. Tiens, voilà, pouf, je sors, et eh bien vous n'existez plus A number of different sources of fed multiculturalism, and one of them is an excess of individualism in Western cultures. The question is, what is the balance between the two? The problem with multiculturalism it is that it has actually uh, uh, embedded racism in our minds, in our psyche, by racializing culture. And surely that's um, forcing or, or encouraging people to take responsibility for the words that they use. I wonder if actually multiculturalism actually destroys difference in the long run. Firstly, the makeup of the panel, which is a discussion of multiculturalism, and it's largely um, white people, and I'm assuming coming from a Western Christian culture, so then we have a situation where... I'm not white. I know, I said, I said largely. I'm neither black nor white nor anything, and I think it's completely ridiculous to say to somebody, oh, you can't say some, you know, because you're white, you can't say this to somebody whose skin is black. I think that's absolutely preposterous. Because we're running out of time, we have to all run down to the bar after this and form a kind of spontaneous philosophical cafe and carry on the argument. Isn't philosophy always talking to anyone? Dinyaga, Dharmakirti, Shankara, Shantarakshita, Jitsuka. The secular state in Europe is still a post Christian state. Descartes, Laforge, Arnaud. I think the general public here probably have much less of an understanding of what philosophy even is. Sartre, Gurevich, Merleau Ponty. Often, if you say to people in this country I teach philosophy, they say something like, oh, so you're about to psychoanalyze me. Locke, 
probably Hume. We are so fragmented now that it's very difficult to find other philosophers who are actually interested in what you are doing. Thomas Reed, Brentano, Husserl, Heidegger. In defending this view, I do not aim at defending a contractualist position. What do we offer? They all agree that all awareness, consciousness or experience, somehow or other involves awareness of that very awareness. Rene. Freedom. Tology. Zombie. Duties. Quantity. Undetermination. End. Objective. Intrinsic. Equivocal. Volition. Fact. Eros. Counterfactual. Fallacy. Adequate. Teleological. Forms. Deduction. Irony. Freedom.